Welcome back, everyone. I'm Crane Bramp. You're all Brainiacs, and this is episode 10 of Empire of Madness, season 2, where we're foodies running a restaurant on the rim. Now, it's a front to hide the horrible prisoner experiments in the back, but, you know, hey, we've never been known for being especially honest either, so... Um, as you can see, there's another huge list of items that we've done in between episodes, and, uh, I would have kept going because it was a really nice time having all that free time, but we have an insect raid. Um, I've already taken a look. It's not that bad. Uh, there's like four mega spiders, six of these and six of these. So biggest thing is going to be getting, uh, some of the guys with weapons down to uh, help shoot these little pains in the butt right here. Actually, it probably wouldn't be bad to get one of the melee guys down too, because these guys tend to be a pain to shoot. But interestingly enough, they are heading directly for the mechanoid cluster. And I don't think these fire on animals, including insects. So I'm pretty sure they're going to take these out for us and just solve our whole problem. Uh, also, you can see that there's a bunch of stuff over here. Uh... See this chief angered? Well, uh, Koga of the agency sent the agency over here. And uh, they just happened to exit right there and they didn't even get a... They, didn't, they really didn't even get... They got like two or three shots off and got wrecked. So anyway, let's go on and speed this up. And then we will do our intro and everything afterwards. But there's no reason to just keep it paused. So anyway, come on, guys. It doesn't look like they're going to fire on them, so... Nope, nope, did not. All right, so my because people were down, I have like some of my best shooters like uh, Rosalina and Liana without weapons. Um, but you know, that, that's fine. All right, I have everybody coming down. I need to remember to set some of these guys' positions and also get them just a little bit different. Like this guy right here is directly in front of the turrets and the turrets do not give a rat's ass whether you're in front of them or not I figured this was going to be a, a really easy one I mean the turrets alone would take care of them usually my big deal is these mega scarabs See how, see how the turrets have stopped firing and nobody else is firing either? So, let's do this. Uh, first of all, let's get everybody... Oh, we already have people restricted to home. Aha! Let's make sure that none of the animals can go out before we do this. But... Uh, let you go, let you go, let you go, let you go. And then get you to come out here. And you to come out here, and that should take care of the last couple of mega scarabs. Well, that one's down. Can you? It would be really nice if you would come down here and help him with that. Thank you very much. So you can go back to what you're doing. You can go back to what you're doing, and uh, everything can be unrestricted with a simple click of the home button. Uh, actually, Oaks, are you bleeding out? And you just got a condition that needs. Look at her to. Uh, Finish off all this stuff. All right, let's take care of that. All right, now that that's done, um, you know what? Before we settle in, let me take the time. I want to thank you for hanging out with the community today, and I hope that today is the day that I earn that like and subscribe if I haven't already. And remember, this is shocking, but I stream live on Twitch doing survival gaming, and all that information is right down there. I'd love to have you drop by, man. Um, I'd also like to apologize for editing on the last video, episode 9. I was right at the edge of a stomach bug, felt bad, and just did a shitty job at editing, and I apologize for that. So, let's see if I just can't do a better job in the future for you guys. Alright, so, um, we had a bunch of stuff happen, let's go through it. We had, uh, elections kick off, which I have also discovered that the elections seem to turn themselves off after every election. And even though you get the notice, it won't actually elect anybody if you don't have enable an elections on. 
So let's enable him and make sure that we can actually get a mayor. An agriculture trader come by to need anything. Uh, we had some visitors. Hold on, before, give me just a minute because this is bothering me. I know everybody's up here doing stuff, but we have got, so I got to thinking about our animal problem because we just don't have anything to hunt on this map really. But here's the thing, unless I kill off a bunch of this stuff, then we're probably not going to have, we don't give it a chance to like redo. So we are going to hunt everything basically, but the mega sloths and see if we can't like clear out the whole map. I mean, it won't exactly be efficient, but see if we can clear out the whole map. Let's make sure that we have somebody actually set to hunt. It's got weapons. They should. Next up, we kind of need to fix our weapons. Uh, when we had some people go down from that battle, they did not pick their weapons back up. But at the same time, we finished some of the P90s. So uh, I'm going to take Rosalina. I believe the P90s are in here. No, they are not. Maybe in here. Yep. So we will have her uh, equip the good. I will have Liana. equip the excellent and then these use uh i think it's 5.7 yeah 5.7 by 28 so we're gonna make i'm kind of torn on this we're gonna need a lot i'm gonna say 1500 for now just because i don't want to like i'd really like to make it 2000 but i mean everybody's gonna have it everybody's gonna need to carry two or three reloads and that times you know 10 15 colonists is going to add up pretty quick so i mean these will probably be our weapons until end game till we get into the some of the rimsonal stuff uh also we are out of beds so this ought to be pretty easy i'll just do a o right here and put, we'll put one right there one right there and like that and that should take care of that got an artifact dealer coming by i'm hoping hoping that any trader that comes by has components that's really the only thing that i'm worried about at the moment so do you have components you do not have components what do you have you have a thrombo horn gps meekin you have a grimoire of the occult uh you got some maces psychic shock glance wow an architect shield belt um oh he's got night lights oh he's got night lights and they're excellent too um, I tell you what, I'll trade you all of these sculptures. We're going to talk about art here in a minute. And we'll take that one and that one. And I believe that's all we're going to take. I don't want to get into like a bunch of stuff right now. So next I'd like to do something about meal storage. We're storing them in here, which is fine. But, you know, the problem with that is, is that everybody's having to go in and out of the freezer. So, uh, I do want to do some freezer storage first. So, let's do some meat hooks to hang carcasses on. Let's do, whoops, let's do five of those. And then, let's make a deep fridge right outside this door. That way, it's easy to get to. Um, and it's kind of equidistant between... Uh, the people who have to do the cooking and put the meals in there and the people who have to grab the meals. And then we'll just set this to meals only and make it critical and we'll be done with that. Um, next, our growth rate down here has been eh, even though they're in rich soil. And when I was messing around earlier, I got a warning when I uh, went over this that it was a bad temperature. Uh, I'm not getting it now, and I can't seem to reproduce it, but that does mean that at least at some point it's getting down. Uh, so what I'm going to do is go to temperature. This ought to be a pretty easy fix, and throw a chem boiler in there. Chem boiler is just a boiler that uses chem fuel to raise the temperature in a room. It's totally unregulated. It does a fantastic freaking job. Uh, in fact, I've used these to like put in the middle of a base and build vents and heat entire bases with these things. So uh, they do really good. We'll check back here in a minute and see how good it's doing. Uh, we got our storage done up here. So let's just go to contents. Do a clear all and then just click it all for meals. 
and put priority critical. And now all our meals should go over there and we don't have to worry about them going out and in over here anymore. Uh, finally, we need to do rich soil over here. So we're gonna go to uh, farming and then terraform to rich soil and just do this whole area right there. And we have enough to do it. We needed uh, four dirt. And then of course we're steady making uh, fertilizer from this raw compost. Um, let's see here. Uh, let's make sure and get everybody back to unrestricted. Uh, do all that. We don't need the STFO zone anymore. And then the animals can go on the work policy and they can come off the STFO zone so that they can go out and start uh, gathering stuff. So let's finish off this list over here. We got a universal cabinet. We got uh, the research item storage table. We have a new recruit, Yazuki. Uh, here are the, all the work stuff in case you want to pause. We also have Kitty up, um, for, uh, for work that I did. We have the micro analyzer, um, a surgical supplier came through, which we did not mess with. We had a uh, ship reactor startup. That's a, I don't want to go mess with that right now quest. Uh, the USFM had some renewal troops. We did finish medical production. Ground runner two is now the leader of one of our packs. And the agency. I told you the agency was going to be back. So just a little bit of Cthulhu lore. I'm not going to go into it too much, but basically the agency looks for people uh, doing cults to the Elder Gods and tries to kill them. So yeah, they're out investigating. That's why I've got the the thing way back here. And hopefully all of the... Uh, in fact, you know what? We need to... Do we have a guest zone yet? Oh, wow. We do not have a guest zone yet. So let's rename this to guest. Um, then we're going to need to go to zone. I think we're going to have to clear. Yeah, because I got all this over here that was part of the STFO zone. So let's get all that done. And then we're going to expand that area. And eventually all of this is going to be guest. Or at least that's the idea. So let's go back to guests and uh, area of accommodation is guest and the shopping area. Uh, there's no shop. And we'll go on and make sure that we're trying to make friends and also uh, entertaining people. All right. So hopefully that will keep the agency down here where they belong, which is away from our stuff. <sighs> All right, uh, this is our research area. I did a little bit of mining in between episodes. We also have uh, our throne area that's ready to go. So what I think I'm going to do at first is I'm just going to do the walls in the walls and the floor in granite. And then when we get better materials, uh, I thought it was granite that we had. What is that over there? That's bone creep. What is that right there? Sandstone. Okay, I'm sorry. So we're going to do the walls and stuff in sandstone and also the floor. And then when we get something better, uh, we'll do that. So we're going to lay it out like this. And then we're just going to come across, leave space for a door. Throw in a sandstone door. We'll let them work on that. And then I want to do uh, kind of the same over here. Except we're going to do this out of sterile walls and sterile floors when they finally do get one. Uh, so let's go to floors, go to slabs, and just do sandstone slabs. I just find these work really good visually for, like, videos and stuff. So, uh, I mean, plus they just look nice. I mean, look at that. Some of, some of, the, some of the tile looks kind of funky to me, but... Anyway, uh, so now that we've got all that done, let's pull back a little bit and we'll let that run. See what we can get done. Here is our research right now. We have a multi-analyzer up, and then we're making our run for sleeping gas, which also includes makeshift explosives and our remote detonator. After we finish this, we're probably going to switch back to uh, occult stuff for a little while. We've got a couple of other things that I would like to research in there before we get done. So... Let me put that right like that, and I will see you guys on the other side of the speed up.
All right, so, uh, wow. That was a really, really long time without anything bad happening. I mean, I'll always take those, but we... It was so long, it was another election. So, yeah. So, uh, we had uh, someone playing one the first one. A butcher came by and a scrap trader. I didn't figure we needed either one of those. Scrap traders are only selling stuff. Uh, we finished our multi-analyzer. That's some good crunchy right there. Ryan has some inspired creativity. I'm going to leave that on there. Uh, there was another election, and we have Kirsten and Rosalina. So what we're going to do is we're going to run up here. We're going to go to our teaching table. We're going to go to schedule, and we're going to select Solaire and Rosalina. And we're going to put our lesson time at 2100 hours, which is at night. They'll do the sermon in the evening, and then they'll also gather for classes. And whoever uh, is teaching that day will teach basically the highest skill that they have to everybody else. Uh, people don't get much, but it's always good. Uh, the Ambrose Pact are visiting. We finished May Ship Explosives. There is a spaceship crash opportunity. Um, maybe we start. We'll start going on stuff like. The next episode, the one after that, I want to make sure that we got our ammo straight, our weapon straight, and at least have our backpacks, which most of them are done. Uh, we just need to do a uh, um, an outfit for everybody, and I also want to start working on getting power over to our new research room. We got a bunch of stuff to do really quick, so I'm going to leave it at one for the moment for the speed. Um, my brain, I'm having a brain fart here about the power. So power conduits, we're going to run it just like this i want to come just all the way around the room to make sure that we have power we have plenty of steel so it's not like we're hurting for any um we're gonna do the same thing in the throne room and yep let's do some lights uh do a ceiling lamp Let's say here and here, I'll light that up. We're going to use braziers or braziers up here. Let's put one there. Let's put one there. Let's go on and get our throne up here. Just a simple one right now. Just a simple one. And then we're going to need drapes. We do not have enough cloth. That's fine. We're going to have to wait on that or... Uh, wait on, I don't know how much stuff we've got left to scrap down, but a lot of times we don't get normal cloth out of it. We get other stuff. So anyway, uh, next let's get some of this stuff moved over. We can go on and move the high tech research bench over. And since we're finally in the room where we want to be, we are going to make a stool for them to sit on. And I don't believe yet we can make the multi-analyzer. Nope. The big thing is it requires plasteel, but components, man. We're hurting for components right now really bad. But we can make a research item storage. Uh, this is just... It gives a small boost to research uh, micro-analyzer. We don't have enough components for that either. So we'll go on and move these in here. And then probably next episode, we'll start working on our crafting area and getting all of our linkables done up here. Also, let me see. We got good. We can scrap that. Good. We can scrap that. Good. We can scrap that. Normal. We can scrap that. Normal. We can scrap that. And normal. So we don't want to keep anything. Um, uh, I keep doing the wrong crafting bench. I'm used to using the wooden one. And I keep forgetting that we have the laser crafting table. So... Let's make another 12 of those. Just keep training that skill. Uh, what is the temperature down here now that we have put our chem boiler? It is 113. It's also 93 in the guest room, so we might want to do something about that. Uh, yeah, yeah, that, that does happen sometimes. So let's first of all, let's get rid of this vent right here. Actually... Yeah, we'll just get rid of that vent, and that should calm everything else down. And we're going to get rid of this eventually. In fact, we can go on and do this now. This can come out. This can come out. And then we'll just put a wall right there. And this whole thing, in fact, 
can just all be disassembled. We'll knock this wall out and we'll do this to all the visitor storage, the visitor area and the shop area. Now that we have our medicine production, we can also start making medicine in bulk. We're going to want to do that until, I don't know, probably a hundred of them, I would say, it is good to keep in stock just in case. We also have an artifact dealer. Let's take a look and see if they actually have anything that we might want. I'm just going to speed everything back up now that we've kind of kind of finished doing that. I do want to do also a little bit of mining, um, but we're kind of... Yeah, he doesn't have anything to buy. He's just got really odd stuff like, you know, the elixir of power. He is an artifact dealer. So, uh, let's go on and mark some mining stuff up here. We're, we're not, I'm not only wanting to get this cleared out while we have ground runners and stuff, but, you know, we also might find some components and stuff while we're doing stuff. So, we'll mark that. And then we'll grab the sandstone wall. Just, we'll just do a deconstruct there. And then eventually we're going to probably mine out this entire area up here for a ship hanger don't particularly want to do that right now <laughs> not exactly the idea but uh and then this room right here i want to go on and get it uh, a floor done i don't think we're going to have enough sandstone slabs to do this all in one go but we are making them in bulk so it really doesn't hurt to go on and mark them now but I want to do this whole floor right here in sandstone also. And uh, let's do a bone creek door right there just to seal that off. I don't think I need any more doors. Actually, I do. There and there. And uh, yeah, we've still got research to do. We've got quite a bit of building left to do. Um, and we're just kind of in a holding pattern waiting on components. So let's... Uh, or... A good quest something to get out and do stuff on so where will i see you guys see you on the other side of the speed up Well, boys and girls, after a almost completely uneventful episode, we have a raid. In fact, we have a siege. A group of outlanders from Hossia have arrived in transport pods. Looks like they want to besiege the colony and pound you with mortars from a distance. You can try to wait them out or go get them. So how many shells do we have left? We have five incendiary shells. These dudes are probably in trouble. All right, so let's get everybody inside just for the moment. So we'll put the acta, the animals on inside, and let's go on and speed this up, see where they're coming in. All right, so where are y'all, what do y'all got? Uh, not too bad. That sniper rifle might give us some pro... Ooh... 8 by 8 by 35 millimeter charge rifles. These things are actually pretty tough. These guys might give us some problems if we have to go out and get them. But let's see where they're going to go. They're going to go right there. All right. So let's get a... Who's got the best shooting? I think uh, Rosalina have a really good one. Yeah. So Rosalina, can you come down here and man the mortar for me, darling? 
And then we're going to set us a nice force target right in the middle of all of those guys. You know, you guys probably... Oh! Ouch! Hold fire for just a minute. Probably should have stayed home. Oh my goodness. They got freaking wrecked. Oh! That, yeah, I imagine you would be fleeing. <laughs> oh my gosh. We're not, I don't think we're going to get any prisoners out of this. That was bleeding out in three hours. We might, might get them. Let's see if we can get somebody. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I, that was just hilarious to me. Oh my gosh. They got wrecked. All right, so everybody on outside, animals back on the work policy. Jeez, uh, everybody, uh, these can be marked for hauling. Let's see. Bleeding out in one hour. Ble oh, we got them, so Oaks can go on and capture her. Nice, nice. Uh, hit the home key. Trying to remember that the home is the hot key for allow all. Don't want to do an allow all. Okay, I just sped that up and let Oaks do that because I have never, never seen it take that long. That was like hours in game time that it took her to stabilize her because of all the injuries that she had. Oh, man, that was nasty, man. That was... All right, so we got survival pods. Let's see here. Uh, You know what? Home. I'll take all that. They'll go get it eventually. Our remote detonator is finished. We have a psychic act uh, emanator. We may need to go get that, like, next episode caravan over there. Um, also, these guys are going to have weapons, and we're definitely going to have to take a look at that next time. And how much ammo do they have? Pristine ruins and a slave ship. Oh, um, I don't actually know if we want any slaves. Uh, let's take a look at this pristine ruins real quick. It just, the whole episode went from nothing to just everything all in one go. <laughs> um, that's pretty far away, guys. That's pretty far away. By the time we get there, the raider presence is going to be quite a bit higher. Yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't want to go, I don't want to go mess with any of that. That's a little bit too far off. All right, so all that we're waiting on right now is uh, our sleeping gas. So what do we want to do after that? I do want to do obelisk construction. Um, I would really like to do this su study successful cults, but we need to make sure that only K researches that. Um, let me take a look through here and see what else we want to do next. All right, so this may look like a lot <laughs> of research, but it's actually not. Uh, we've got obelisk construction, chronicling, and human sacrifice, which finishes out all of our occult research except probing other occult deities, which I don't know if we're going to do, and study successful cults. And for that, we need to make sure that only our priest does the research on that so that she gets that. But I've also done uh, an improved tool cabinet and a bunch of these storage tables that give us little boosts to stuff like butchering uh, art cookware and I also added you can't see it but at the end is electric stone cutting because even though we've got bone creep bones are limited and it looks like we are going to be doing some like floors and stuff so uh let's see uh how did our our idea work on this this actually worked really good dudes so we cleared it out and now we have a bunch of larger stuff that we can go on and hunt. Now, I don't want to train any more alpacas because they're steadily getting pregnant. So I'm just going to go on and mark all this stuff. Now, some people may ask why I don't do my hunting with the managing plugin. I've found that a lot of times, even if you mark non-predators, it will have your characters attack very dangerous stuff. So I prefer to micromanage that. All right, so our sleeping gas research is done. 
Uh, what was... Okay, not really sure what the... Oh, that was probably a revenge when he shot the, the animal. Sorry. We finished our sleeping gas, which means that next episode or the next after, probably next episode, we're going to need to start working on our kill box and getting that set up. Our biggest limiter right now is components. Uh, we didn't find any when we mined anything out here. There's nothing obvious left on the map yet. So hopefully when we go out to do this psychic emanator, there's going to be some loot there and uh, we can find that. So uh, the slave ship has left range. I don't think we really want any more colonists right now. We have a lot of people and a lot of mouths to feed. So I think this is it for this episode, guys. Thanks a lot for tuning in. You know how this works. Um, if you like what you see, if you like what you saw, hit that big red subscribe button. And most of all, guys, stay safe, take care, peace out, and I will see you next episode. <laughs>